everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm taking you through different hairstyles that you can do for your curly hair so a lot of you guys follow me on Instagram and that's where I kind of show off all my different curly hairstyles honestly if my curls are looking good then I don't want to touch them and I don't want to tie them up or do much to them because you want to show off your curls if they're looking good but yeah some hairstyles that I've posted a lot of you have asked me to do tutorials on how to do them they're all really quick and easy to do I guess when I was growing up I didn't see much curly hair in the media so I didn't really know how to style it and how to wear it in you know cute styles that will suit different outfits so hopefully this helps out some of you if you're struggling to style your hair or you just don't know how to style your hair to match an outfit I'm gonna give you some options today girl but anyway let's jump into the first hairstyles so I recently posted this on my Instagram and I said I'll give you guys a tutorial so here here it is this is the scarf that I used in that post I'll leave it on the screen here but this scarf was a gift from insert name here I'm pretty sure it came in one of their parcels like ages ago and I recently found it in the bottom of my cupboard and it's so pretty it's like a blue a paisley pattern it has to be a decent sized scarf um, I think it's like 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters or maybe a bit smaller, something like that. I have two other scarves that I use and I got those from eBay and they are 90 centimeters 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters. So for all scarf styles, I always fold them in half. So you want to fold it into a triangle. And then if I'm using it as a headband, I'll fold it up. But for this style, we're just going to fold it a little bit so it's not too big on the head, like that. Now you're gonna take the two ends and tie it at the back of your head. So flip your hair under, tie the two ends. So I tied the two ends at the back and then I'm just flipping over and you've got a cute little scarf headband. And see it forms a triangle at the back of my head if you can see in the mirror. And then what I did, I just pulled out some curly bits. I might have pulled out too much just then, but just pull out your curly front bits and then I just tighten the tie a bit more so it's nice and secure and you can bring these ties forward if you want ta-da so that's quick and easy it's just a cute little accessory to an outfit if I'm wearing like a plain dress and I have a scarf that matches it this is a cute little pop of pattern to an outfit all right so for my classic ponytail updo I've done a couple of tutorials on this on Instagram and I think in previous YouTube videos but I'll just go through it again just in case you haven't seen it I always use a black scrunchie I get mine from Supre which is an Australian store I'm not sure where else I don't, I'm not sure what other countries have Supre but that's where I get them from if you have cotton on in your country they'll probably have them but I used to get these like velvety kind of material ones but they've just come out with silk versions and well I don't know this isn't real silk but like a satin version and satin is better for your hair it's more slippery and doesn't kind of pull on your hair and create too much friction so I've been using this one lately all I do is tie a ponytail at the top of my head um, and I'll pull my front bits out if I want so I'll just move back here so I just tie everything up into a ponytail and then I just use the scrunchie to tie a ponytail and yeah that's all I do I can use if I have like little baby hairs coming out the back I just use a bobby pin to pin those up this is the hairstyle I wear the most often it's just the easiest and I think it's a really pretty hairstyle for curly hair and if your hair's not looking the best it still works and even if your hair's a bit frizzy it still looks nice sometimes I just slick back those little bits as well if they're looking a bit frizzy I'll quickly show you how I tie a scarf headband if my hair's up like this so again you start off with the scarf folded in half and then I just, it's hard to show up here, I'll stand up. So you just fold the scarf a few times over until the triangle is kind of tucked in and then you put this side face down so that the triangle stays down. Place that behind your head and then tie it at the top of your head in a knot. So then you have this and you can either tie this knot into like a little cute knot like that. But what I've recently been doing is you twist them to the opposite side and then you just tuck it into the original band that you wrapped around your head so yeah that's how I tie my scarf really easy and it's really comfy it's not like tight and pulling at your hair you should try get like satin or silk scarves so they're more gentle on your hair I love this style I think it's very summery and just very cute with some hoops 
All right, the next hairstyle I'm gonna show you is an updo, but, but I basically just flat these front bits and then tie them off using little elastics. I've seen a few girls on Instagram do this style and it's just really cute. Um, Jamie Jo did a tutorial on this style too. It's just something a little different and I feel like it's a good style if your front bits are a bit frizzy and you don't have time to refresh them and make them look nice and curly. So I just pulled out some longer bits from my front section because I did cut these two bits so they're a bit short. So I just pulled out a bit more hair. So I basically just split each piece of hair into three and pull at them all the way down. My short bits kind of come out midway through, but that's all right. And then I use just a little tiny elastic um, to tie the ends. You can get these small elastics in a pack from probably your local chemist. I think I got them from Woolworths here in Australia. All right, so this is the hairstyle. They're a bit stiff. I think my hair's a bit dry and the short bits are like coming out here. Um, this would work well if you had, if you didn't have bangs and you just had like l really long bits at the front because then you won't have little bits sticking out like that. I feel like this is very 90s. You can tuck them behind your ears if you want and just have the flat detail along the side. But yeah, again, if you have little baby hairs coming out the back, sometimes I do, but today's been a good day. You can just use bobby pins to pin everything up. On to the next one. Next, I'm going to show you a half up, half down hairstyle. I can leave some front bits out for this, but I just tie up the top layer of my hair. Depending on your hair shape, this should be pretty easy. My top layer is really short, so it's like easy to tie up. And I'm using that satin scrunchie again and just tying a little ponytail. And you can leave out more front bits or you can tie them back. But yeah, this is a good alternative if you are if you get annoyed with your hair like I do and it's like always in your face. You can just tie a bit back into a ponytail or a bun. You could tie this into a bun if your hair is really long and you want more of a shorter little at the top. That's what the back looks like as well. I like using scrunchies rather than elastics because I feel like scrunchies give you a bit more volume and just make your ponytail stand up a bit more and I feel like they're more stable than a thin elastic but that's just me. I'm gonna show you how I do my curly space buns. So I usually leave out some little short bits at the front and then tie up the other two into messy buns up here. I'm gonna use two normal thin elastics and I'm just using a comb to split my hair in half and I like to place them just around there and instead of tying it into a tight bun I kind of try to keep it loose so you can see that the hair is curly so what I did just then was twist it around so it's like a donut but you don't want to tighten it too much then just using an elastic I just tie it so it stays in place, but then I kind of loosen it and pull bits out. Sometimes when my hair is really frizzy, I tie it into tight space buns because I just can't deal with it. It's just a mess. But when the curls are nice, I like to show you that they're curly. So that's how I do the space buns. I like to keep them a bit messy and loose. Also, my front bits got really frizzy from plaiting them. So just a warning if you're gonna plait your curls just be ready for when you take the plaits out that they're gonna be frizzy. I used this BB curl reactivator to like spray them and scrunch them so they're not looking too bad actually. This is a great reactivator. I've been using that a lot. All right guys, sorry I had to run out. I totally forgot I had an appointment and it was raining so my hair got really, well, you can't really tell but it got frizzy. So the next couple of hairstyles I'm gonna show you are very slick and I like to do these when I'm not feeling my curls, when I can't be, when I can't be bothered to wash them when they're looking a bit wonky. So yeah, I'll show you how I do just the slick high pony. Um, same as the pony I did before, but basically this part's gonna be brushed back and very neat. So the first thing I do is wet the base of my hair. You can use water or you can use like a curl spray. I'm using this BB curl one again. So just spray it all over your scalp. And then I just use a brush to brush it all back. There's no going back after you brush your curls, as most of you probably know, so I'll definitely have to wash my hair um, tomorrow if I want my curls to be out. <laughs> okay, and then you want to slick up your hair. So you want to spray the back of your hair too and brush that back. So it's neat all over. Oh my god, I just realised I'm wearing a different dress than I was before. Um, yeah, I just had to go out and I put this dress on. 
So yeah, it might take a while until you can get all the bumps out. You might have to keep brushing for a bit. And then I'm just using my scrunchie to tie it up. It's nice and slicked back everywhere. It gives you that kind of natural facelift. <laughs> what I've been doing recently is I use this Aunt Jackie's Curl Boss Curling Gel A and then this bamboo toothbrush thing. I'm sorry if you can hear the TV in the background. My dad listens to it very loud. I just dip the brush in that gel and then brush up those baby hairs. I don't have that many so it's not that noticeable but it just gives the hairstyle a nice slick fancy touch. I really like that gel, it smells nice too and it works really well for this hairstyle so that's how I just do a slick bun. Let me change back into that other dress. Sorry about that random outfit change, I realised I had an appointment that I totally forgot about for laser so I like ran out and put that other dress on and then I got home and I was like oh better finish the video and then I forgot to change back into the original outfit. Let's move on to the last look. For this one we're doing a low slicked back pony with a middle part. So I just use a comb to split my hair in half. And I'm just wetting the top again, slicking it down. Now I'm using a simple elastic to tie it back. And just adding a second elastic for extra secureness. And some short bits tend to pop out because I have short layers, so I just use bobby pins to pin back these side bits. But yeah, that's a slick back curly pony. I have such short hair still, so... And then just using that same gel and brush to brush back the edges. And there we go, that's my little low pony look. It's a short little fluffy ball, but I'm excited for it to get a bit longer and show a bit more length. Yeah, I haven't actually worn my low pony out like this. I kind of like it. It's pretty cute. Alright, the last look I'm going to show you is very similar to this, but I'm just going to add my ponytail extension from Curls by Bavonia. I used this on my birthday and a couple times in photos and stuff on Instagram, and some of you have asked me about it, so I'll show you how I apply it. I'm just going to use another elastic and tie this ponytail into a bun. I try to make it as small and tight as possible. So this ponytail isn't a strap one where you wrap it around your natural ponytail. It's more of um, an enclosure that goes over your bun. It's got a built-in clip into it, so you like clip it onto your bun, and then it's got a drawstring that you can use to tighten it onto your bun. So I'm pushing the clip into the base of the bun and then wrapping the net over. And I'm tightening the elastic and then I'm just wrapping that elastic around the base a few times to tighten it. And then I just use some bobby pins to secure that elastic into the base. So yeah, it's that easy and it doesn't feel heavy. It's nice and light, um, dark brown. Extensions from Bourbonia are in the shade dark brown. They kindly sent me this ponytail and also extensions. You might have seen I posted um, my clip-in extensions and it looks so cool. I look like a curly mermaid. But yeah, I love this ponytail so much. It's so fun to just change up your look now and then and it looks so natural. All right, so that's the end of the video. Let me know which look was your favorite. I think the one I use the most is definitely that updo with the bits hanging out, my high ponytail, basically. Um, this one is also another one of my favorites. I love slicked back looks with glowy makeup. I think that's just such a nice classic look. Let me know what other videos you wanna see next from me, whether it's about curly hair or makeup or fashion or whatever. Please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.